yeah. Three, two, one. Tip one, start now. Let me look at the proper place. Tip one, start now, start simple. If you look at my first video on how to make a YouTube video, I just used my smartphone and I recorded myself speaking into the phone and then it was a 30 second uh, clip that I uploaded to YouTube. The idea of that first video, although it's not teaching you much, it's helping you a lot. If I can upload a video like that, you can do that as well. So you should use your phone, start recording whatever it is that you feel you can share with people on a regular basis and do that today. Today, when you finish watching this video, because most people who listen to how to's, instructionals, motivationals, they love to listen to more and more and more because it makes you feel better. But until you start actually putting out content, doing the work, you will not move forwards. Simple. Instead of watching another instructional video, point the camera to yourself, say, I love eggs. In fact, I love exotic eggs. They're the best. Let me tell you a bit about exotic eggs. Post. Put a title, put a description, send it out. That's the easy bit. Oh my god, the light! Could I ask for more sunlight? <laughs> A YouTube video. It's very simple. Start now, start simple. Get your phone out and go to the YouTube app. In the top you'll see three icons. There's a camera icon. Press the camera icon and allow it to have access to your camera. Think about what you want to record, what topic you want to talk about to people, what you're passionate about. If you love sleeping, talk about sleeping. If you love eating, talk about eating. If you think you like a lot of things, just start talking about that. The idea of this first step is to just start. Start now, start simple. Once you've finished that, do a 30 minute vid sec do a 30 second video. For example, let's look at the first video that I, I posted earlier. I think that's cringeworthy. But the idea of this is not to be perfect forget perfect the idea of this is to be proactive and putting this video up means that I've started and if I do this on a regular basis I will get used to how it feels putting my videos up hearing my voice seeing my content and then I'll get better your first 30 or 50 videos they're meant to start you on your journey to becoming focused and professional. Start now, start simple. Does that sound corny or what? Number two. second simple the second simple uh, suggestion number two is decide what it is you specifically want to do your videos on what's your speciality now for example people like to call a speciality a niche which is different than a skill 
you may not be skilled at something but you may really love something when you love something then you're able to go into nerdy details about them and a nerdy detail about something is called a niche a specific for example let's say you're really passionate and fas fascinated with animals that's very broad but animals do have a broad appeal but let's say you're actually excited about eggs and now you've got your niche you've got animal eggs a very specific audience is going to be really interested in that and you could even be more specific if you really love oh my goodness but it's not just eggs I absolutely adore exotic eggs like sea sea turtles and also snake eggs and ostriches all oh, these eggs are just amazing and the spotted pet you know you could go on and if you are passionate about something it's much easier if you're not passionate about something you can be <laughs> it's the king of the jungles about to attack So it's more about what can what do you feel passionate about first thing you could look at is what do you usually watch on YouTube a lot what do you keep watching and keep coming back to watch now you might be passionate about watching things like gaming or you might be passionate about watching things like animal shows TV shows uh, humor videos like on TikTok or uh, stumbler but are you passionate about that enough to do it yourself that's the difference take a bit of time to figure that out and while you're thinking about your niche I suggest that you make videos on that and then watch it back and you start seeing could I do this could I really be talking about this niche for a long period it's okay to change but it's better to start right let's go on to the next okay I'm gonna merge the last two the next two ones which are my last two for today into one number three have a look at your favorite YouTube channels and learn from them look at their thumbnails look at their videos look at the mistakes they've made look at their style look at what it is that you like about them is it their personality or is it like the the weirdness do you like Yuya who's a Spanish uh, celebrity on YouTube in a way because she does these kind of homemade uh, decorations and gift boxes and and just overly excited I'd say you know and, and it's kind of infectious do you like that kind of stuff or do you like people who fix things Linus Tech Tips who gets excited about computers and graphics cards or you know people who are helping you to make YouTube videos are you interested in those people who can give you more technical advice now study them and see how you can incorporate that into your own channel because your own channel number four will be a business and a business which is separate from pleasure is about keeping accounts making money paying taxes are you ready for that anyway right now make your video start doing it and then after you've put up your video and put the details you can watch another video about how to do something but get going now Oh, pickle Rick! Look, the sun's caught me up again. Oh, what the deal? What's the dealio, man? <laughs> I never thought it'd come to this. Two thousand people in one local park, and no one told them it was a special day. This is their last sunset, glittering across the horizon, dusting down the last city fortress of light. What will we do tomorrow? No one has asked this question. 